I just want to say hello. Hi, we're Bruce and Cheryl. We moved from California to get away from the hustle and bustle of a fast-paced lifestyle and a not-so-perfect political climate to enjoy a slower speed, better values, and a rich Christian atmosphere. Join us, us as, as we, we discover, discover our new, new environment, environment, rebuild our new-to-us home on two and a half acres, and enjoy the scenic southern landscape of central western Georgia. So, if you've been following us for any length of time, you know that we didn't start out to be a YouTube channel. And I'm not professional by any stretch of the imagination on what we do, but so I lost some of my video footage that I had for putting together and building the plenum. And I didn't, I didn't get it on film. So I'm not able to show you everything that led up to what you're about to see. And I basically finished my plenum and I wanted you all to see what it looked like. So it's about 32, a little over 32 inches long, 21 by 21 with a 12 inch start collar right here, which is the feed line. So the air conditioning unit will feed air into that plenum there. And then we have a 12 inch on this side and the 12 inch on this side, which will feed the two halves of the house. So that's my plenum. I got two more pieces of uh, aluminum tape to put on it. As you can see, all the edges are taped. And I do have to tape down that ring right there on the outside. I taped it down on the inside. Both of those are taped in and out. So you can see the aluminum tape on that to seal those. So then the only other thing I've got to do is create some kind of a platform, excuse me, some kind of a platform down underneath here. And you can see the, the 12 inch that it comes off of. I need a platform underneath there to set that plenum on. And I don't want wood, I don't want earth to wood. So I'll probably pour a little concrete pad in here, get some, some bricks or something to set it on. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, it just needs to be up off the ground and held up. But it's getting flexed from that ring right there to the ring on the back of the box. So that's what I spent my morning working on. It took a little bit of time because I don't have all the fancy tools that I used to have when I did this professionally. I did all that with just these little tools you see right here. And then it's uh, insulated on the inside with this styrofoam. And it's half inch styrofoam, but it's double layered. So it's, it's built like, basically like an ice chest. And if I'm concerned that it's not gonna be able to withstand the heat and temperature differences I can even wrap the outside of this with a, a layer of insulation, a duct wrap insulation. Um, I've got some right here, but I need to use that first uh, for my Y branches. I'm going with the idea of spray foaming around my boots to see if I can do that and make, a, make it stick and get a good foam layer around them. And if that works, we're good to go. So it looks like it's lunchtime. Sounds like mommy's calling. Yep, here she comes. What's up, sweetness? Your sandwich is ready. My sandwich is ready. Excellent. Thank you for being such a good wife and taking care of me like you do. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being so And Sunshine, thank you for being a good a cat. great husband building oh, all yeah, these right. things. Building all these. I'm an all right husband. I could be better. Well, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> all right, Sonny. You be good. Oh, he smelled the turkey that I was putting on the sandwich, and he had a bit. He had a half a piece. I gave him a half a piece. Hi, 
What's up? I'm not sure what I want to eat. If I want to eat turkey. So, I basically, other than putting a couple of pieces of tape on the ductwork out there, I'm basically done for the day. Oh, yeah, we, I need to change those propane tanks. So, we're going to call it a day, um, primarily because it's Wednesday. And what most of you don't know is um, Cheryl and I are very committed to our Lord. And um, because of our connection to God, we spend our Wednesday nights um, teaching uh, at our church, Pine, Pine View Baptist Church in LaGrange, Georgia. You guys are welcome to come down anytime and join us. Um, we're doing a study right now based on the Chosen series. And we're basically, we've, all, we've watched the first three seasons and we're completing um, going through each of the of the episodes season by season breaking down all the scriptures and the content and what they're talking about and what is added and not original or or backed up by the bible and what is true though i will say this if you've watched the chosen they did a great job of knitting together all of the different parts of the gospels and the new testament and making sense of how interactions could have happened. It's a possibility, not, a nece not necessarily the, the gospel truth on that, and they don't claim that either. But we've, we've been working on that, so um, I've got to set up, get ready for the Bible study tonight, and then tomorrow we disciple, so tomorrow will be another short day. Hopefully it's a cool day. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow's a special day. We might take you with us on that one. We're going to Helen, which is about three hours away. We got to get up early in the morning because we got to be at a court hearing at eight. I think it's eight thirty or nine. Eight thirty or nine. Um, some friends of ours, um, in fact, one of the deacons in our church, who they're moving away to Helen, so we lost that deacon. We just recently um, added two new deacons because we were short with him going away anyway they they're adopting some children and tomorrow is the adoption hearing where the adoption becomes final and so we're going to go and support them on that and they bought a new house there well not a brand new house they bought a house new to them and our friend chris wants me to take a look at it and see if there's um any advice i can give him um kind of look it over and tell him what's possible and and just kind of, I think he just want to, wants to kind of show it off, and I don't blame him. I like to show off my new things, too. So we're going to do that in the morning, and hopefully we get back in time for discipleship. If not, uh, the group that we're discipling knows that there's a possibility we may cancel.
Good afternoon. So, made some changes, moved some stuff around, got some more subfloor down, not a lot, a few more pieces. Um, but I rearranged some things because I need to move to another location to start filling in the insulation. Um, I think the last video I talked about putting out the rest of the um, underlayment, the Tyvek or building wrap on the bottom of the floor joist, finishing off one half of the house. And I haven't done any more since then. I've been concentrating on getting insulation cut well, and finishing the plenum. Um, let me turn it around here. And you see my cut station has moved. But, so there's the plenum. It's all finished up. All right, so I, I finished all of that. And then I built my 1010. Now I just have to go get a seven inch piece of metal and make a Y, 1010-7Y. Then I gotta get a piece of metal long enough to make a 12 inch round so I can do a 12-12-8. So I've gotta get a piece for eight inch too. So anyway, so as you can see, I got this cleared off and cleaned up. And um, I think as of the last video, this piece was down. And so I've got it all the way to, these are the, the, that'll be the last piece on that row. That'll be the last piece on this row. And it'll stagger all the way across. <clears throat> Once I get to that point, that's when we attack this wall right here. Um, finished off some of the pieces over here. And I got that sheet right there down. I think I had put this guy down that the caulking gun's laying on. I think I had already had that one down. Or maybe I did that yesterday. So I did that and then that next sheet there. And then today I did this sheet right here. Actually, I actually did this one as well today. This sheet right here today and then this sheet today. And then I've got more insulation going here. And I'm actually ready because this first sheet, so every other sheet is a shorty like that right there. I can actually put that piece in because it doesn't go beyond this triple right here. So I could put that next one in, but I'm also out of screws. I'm gonna have to buy some big tubs of screws because I'm going through a lot. But um, so I clean out these bays. And I'm just slowly um, filling these bays with insulation, and I'm just gonna kind of hopscotch my way up. So once I fill in, what do I got to do? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have to do six runs. So I have to have insulation all the way up to this guy right here. And once I'm insulated to there, then I can put the next sheet from that one right there would go up to that T that you see underneath the insulation. That tonight will be the best night I can feel in When I see around my heart I start to heal in I got a feeling My love tonight's off If you want to dance you have to 
to drag it on Just you and me forget about the time gone About the time gone should be much better than it was. Okay. So this is part two. And this will be the construction of a 1212-8Y. question is, do I want to use this for my 8-inch round? Because it's obviously big enough. This right here is how I made my 10107. I used it. See, that guy makes an 11, right? But I need an 8. So all I have to do is cut down the length, wrap it, and I make an eight. All right? So that could make that could be my eight inch, but I need a 12, 12. For that we bring in a much bigger piece of sheet metal. It's anybody's guess as to how and when that turned off. I don't know how long ago that shut off or how much video is missing. One of the reasons why I don't rely on this camera all the time anymore. And I don't know how I didn't notice. I guess I haven't been looking up at you. So trust the math. It says the length that it should be. And with it wrapped up, it was an 11 inch circle. I want a 10 inch circle. So three inches off should be right. Trust the math. Truth is at this point, we don't know if this thing is actually recording these segments because it keeps shutting itself off. I haven't quite figured out why it keeps wanting to shut itself off. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Oh, there you are. There you are. Sunny sunshine. Do you say hi to all the people on YouTube? What did you get into? What have you been in? Say hi to the people on YouTube. They're right behind you. Yeah, we finally had an inspector come out and check the plumbing stuff and kind of put Sonny in line. Now he understands that he's not really running the job site. But he wants to be. So there you have it. It's not the most beautiful. Like I said, it should have been taller. I should have made it probably another five inches or more so that this throat would have been bigger. Kind of like this throat's nice and long where I can get that duck work on here. This should have been that way. But I can still, because I plan on pulling the, when I can easily get that um, inner flex, you know, halfway up in here and tape it on, but I can pull that insulation up further. That was the last of the, well, it's not the last of the duct work. I do have to create that extension, which I might as well do that now as well. Uh, blank slate. And this guy's 18 inches, and I think I figured another 18 inches on this. Should have me plenty tall enough. So. And so this brings us to the last extension that I need to make. Cut over here. HVAC part that I needed. So if I'm not mistaken, oh no, there's another little piece over there. This is all after everything's done all that's left in the parts. Let me tell you a little something about me. When it's Saturday night, I need to blow off some steam. One, two, three, go! Well, I've been holding in since the clock came Monday morning. From the end of the week, I'm a bum 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 to blow. Breeze walking through the hall, get on like a pack of wolves. So I guess the next order of business will be insulate next group of rows right here put myself in a position where I can lay down another sheet here, insulate that next section so I can lay down another sheet there, finish off that sheet, and if I've done these sections right here, that should take me far enough. Well, I need three bays and I can 
could set another sheet there. So that would give me one, two, three. Yeah, three. One, two, three. Four sheets total, glued and screwed down today. I think that's the last of the HVAC materials that I have to prep and have ready. At that point, then it's uh, all setting off to the side, waiting for me to be able to install it. And I have to wait until after the plumbing's in, because like I said before, and I'll say it again, plumbing has to go in first because it's hard pipe and it has to be in specific configuration. You can't deviate from that. And flex duct can flex around that stuff. And you know, I also have the gas line, which is rigid and it has to be in a specific location. But anyway, so that's where we're at. And um, I'll probably sometime next week, pull you guys underneath the floor with me and we'll start, um, start building the waistlines. So until then, um, we'll see you on the next one.